Hello. In the following tutorial, I will explain what the flags uh, represent, how we can use them for our uh, for our benefit, and how we can also uh, use the interruptions in the left to uh, write and receive information for our uh, app. Okay. So first, let's talk about the flags a bit. We already used the zero flag when we explain the jumping options. You see jumps which are the control statements of the of uh, which are the control statements control uh, really use different kind of conditions to move around the code uh, one of them was if jump if zero or not zero which is really if the flag here is zero or not we have jump if carry and not carry in this case here and jump if signed and not signed which is here and I will explain what mean what each one of these one means. Okay, zero means that if the operation itself doesn't matter which kind of operation, but if an operation on the code shows us a, a result in a in a non-zero result, it will be it will show it as a one there. If it eventually ends as a zero result, it will show it as a zero. Okay. Um, this is useful because generally we many many times we really are interested in in, in uh, getting here if the operation eventually resulted in a number that is not zero itself okay uh, if i do uh, and al comma 00000000b it shouldn't it should here show us a zero because because in the end and if you make an and uh, with anything that that is zero zero, it will make it, uh, it, will, it will give a final result of zero and it will show here that the zero flag is on, is on because we got a zero in the register. If we put here, for example, a one in the second position, as you can see, they're both in the same level. So eventually it won't be a zero, it will be number two. And as a result, this flag will stay zero. Okay, so the zero, the Z uh, flag show, tells this tells us if the result of an operation was a zero or not. Okay, great. The signed uh, flag show us if the result of the operation is a negative number or not. Okay, and that it can be again a result of doing, for example, this. If we make an AND of like that, eventually the number will stay negative if we do this. So it will show us here that it is signed. The number, the resulting number is negative. As you can see, it's signed, it's negative. If, as you can see here, if it's not, if it's, for example, it's zero here, so the resulting number won't be negative. And by that, I know that the number of the resulting uh, operation is not negative. The, all these allow us, allows me later to make, for example, a jumping condition if none zero, if zero to line number label, etc., etc., that we see like we seen before in the control statement. So combining this with a control statement allow us to make a much a richer app. Okay. The final flag, which is the carry flag, is a result of having a limited size register. Let's not forget that the register, yes, has no more than eight bits. And if for some reason the bits, it, it comes, it, we, we shift the number to the left, for example, we try or we add two numbers that are uh, more than the, the space that it can be represented, then we have to carry the one. We have a carry, we have data that is outside of the representation range. If we look at the range itself, I have to remember you that, for example, if it's unsigned the same amount because it can happen, uh, the maximum number that we can put here, yes, is 255. There, I think it's that. Let's erase this and let's execute. That's the maximum number. If I decide to increase by one the number AL, what will happen is that the number will turn around, everything will turn into zero, and in theory, 
we will have one more to the left. The problem is that the, that the main problem with that is that there is no more space. So what we'll have is to, we will lose that one and the carry will co turn on because it will, it, it will warn me that there was a carry in the, in the number, that we lost something. Okay, it didn't really work. Uh, let me try to shift, for example, the number to the left. Okay, by shifting it, it, it does work, okay? Uh, it should have worked with the increase. It is possible that the increase really, for some reason, because it jumps, it turns around, it doesn't uh, show, I mean, the carry. In, in, in The carry should, the idea of the carry is that if I, for example, in case of when, when you shift it to the left, let's, rem let's remember that it's multiplying by two. As you can see, it wasn't able to multiply it by two because uh, the maximum number, it really shifted everything to the left. If we start it again, let's start again. Okay, so as you can see, everything is one, 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 and we shifted to the left. Everything moved to the left, and the, in the right, there is a zero. So here we lost the number one, the carry can, turns on. The truly, it should have done, maybe because it has to do, uh, it's the carry only works when it's a result of. Uh, Two operations together let's say if we add b a l to b l uh, let's try it again the, the fact that it's stop it this should have been zero okay so now it's clean and yes perfect so when i add a number, any number, because it can be any number to that number, which is the maximum size of AL. As you can see, it uh, it cannot show it. So it turns around, it starts again from the beginning, from zero. And in this case, I'm not sure what happened. I think it added, uh, yeah, well, let's, let's start again. Let's from beginning, 255 plus 68, it's 67. Okay, it's, because it goes around, it goes to this beginning, and again it sums from the, from it starts from the from zero again. So um, and it tells me, listen, you lost uh, representation because uh, it can show it more uh, more range than 255. and that's what the carry flag represents. With these three flags, you can combine them to ensure uh, to make a complex a more a much much richer uh, apps in assembly.